Hey guys, it's Mike from ToonTrack here, and today I'm going to show you how the ToonTrack sound designers made a Metallica Black Album-inspired preset using only the core library for Superior Drummer 3. Okay, full disclaimer, we are not claiming that this is the exact sound of the drums from the Black Album. This is simply a project file that was made by one of the sound designers with the goal of getting as close as they could to the Black Album sound. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. The first and most important step is to choose the right combination of instruments from the core library. Each and every one of these instruments and additional samples used in this preset are included in the core library. So if you own Superior Drummer 3, you have all of these sounds available. I'll start with the snare. It's common knowledge that the snare on the Black Album is a Tama Bell Brass, and we happen to have a great sounding bell brass in Superior Drummer 3. For the kick drum, the 22-inch Pearl was chosen because it has the closest, sharp, clicky-sounding attack. The toms were probably the hardest part to get close, but we went for the Yamaha rack toms and the Premier floor toms because they had the closest match to the attack and low end of the original track. As far as the cymbals goes, a combination of Peisty and Zildjian was chosen because of their brightness and attack most closely matched the Black Album. So here's the basic sound with no additional processing, and spoiler alert, it's not even close yet, but we're moving in the right direction. Now I'll add in some room mics and take another step closer to what I'm going for. Some of the sound from the original track is just not present in the very organic sounds that we've compiled so far. So in order to get closer to the Black Album drum sound, we're gonna start stacking additional instruments on what was already done, and then we'll start processing those sounds as a whole. The first stacked instrument is a duplicate bell brass, but it uses the rim shot articulation, which has a harder, snappier sound than the snare center articulation. Next, there's an electronic snare from the included SD3 electronic sounds. And then there's two snares from the Superior 3 presets category. If you want to find any of these sounds for yourself, you can by using Search for Instrument and then going to either Superior Electronic category or the Superior Preset Sounds category. You should also notice that the stack snares have a pretty extreme velocity curve. This makes the high velocity hits of the stack snares play back at full volume, while the low velocity hits are much lower in volume and therefore sound more natural throughout the velocity range. It's a great trick to use when stacking instruments. As for the kick, most of the sound comes from a layered instrument, again from the Superior Drummer 3 preset sounds. This particular sample is called Meat Kick. And again, it has a pretty extreme velocity curve so that it sounds more natural at low levels. Next, we'll move on to the mixer and dive into some of the processing. As you can see, all groups of drums have been bussed out. So you have a kick bus that encompasses all of the individual kick channels, a snare bus, and so on and so on. But we've also added a parallel compression channel, a dedicated channel for the extra snares, and a plate reverb channel. Now, I won't go through every detail, but if we take a look at the processing on the microphone channels, the common theme is remove mid-range, find and remove unnecessary mud frequencies, and add some high frequencies. So here's what the processing on only the microphone channels is doing to the drum sound. The three different room channels add a few very important elements to the overall drum sound. Ambience Near provides a general room sound for the kick, snare, and toms. Ambience Mid is crucial to getting that scooped room sound out of the toms. As you can see, only the toms are active in this channel, and there's some pretty extreme mid-range removal happening, which really helps create the sound that we're going for.
Ambient Center is part of the surround installation for Superior Drummer 3, and it has a really great, almost naturally compressed shotgun type of sound, and it really contributes to the overall drum sound in this mix. One more thing to notice is that there are no cymbals in any of the ambience channels. This is something that you can only do with a program like Superior Drummer 3. Taking the cymbals out of the ambience allows you to compress and process these channels a lot harder and still avoid any cymbal pumping artifacts. So what should be obvious by now is that choosing the right room sound can really be crucial to your drum mix. And it's one of the many reasons that Superior Drummer 3 was recorded with so many different sounding room channels meaning that these extra channels here at the end of the mixer are not just for mixing and surround. Now for the processing on the buses and the master, there's some general tone shaping EQ, added transients with the transient plugin, compression with a few different styles of compressors, including the Fairchild 670 model on the parallel compression bus, and an added plate reverb. So let's hear what the bus processing is doing to the sound. So as you can hear, that final stage of bus processing was the last piece of the puzzle, or at least it's as close as we could get. And once again, we're certainly not claiming that this is the exact sound of the drums from the Black Album. Literally nothing was the same as the original Metallica recording. It's not the same drummer, not the same producer, not the same drums, so on and so on and so on. This video was intended to simply be an example of what you can do with the core sounds included in Superior Drummer 3 and to show how incredibly flexible the software actually is. As always, thanks for watching and good luck with your music.